I'm Josh Benson. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us tonight. A Polk County school employee is accused of lying and trying to cover up information after the death of a student. Kalen Kirk was hit and killed while trying to cross Clubhouse Road to get to his bus stop. That's where Melissa Marino joins us now live. And we understand that employee could be fired for what she did right after that accident. Right, Melissa? Yeah, that's right. The employee, we're told, lied and said that the student was not supposed to be crossing this street. And then we're told she tried to cover up for that lie. Eight on your side went to Brenda Young's house to get answers. Brenda? Yeah. Wondering if you wanted to talk to News Channel 8 about what happened. And she wouldn't open the door, but she did talk to me through the window. According to school records, the day of the accident, Young, who is the transportation manager, told her supervisors that Kirk was not required to cross Clubhouse Road to get to his bus stop. Later that day, Kirk's bus assignment was changed in the computer system. School officials determined that Young was the only one who could have done this. So this was all you're doing? No comment. I will comment after the hearing. Documents show that Young admitted to changing the bus routes the day of the crash. She claimed she did this to create a new, safer bus stop for other students, not to cover anything up. Young has been suspended without pay since June. The superintendent recommended she be fired. On Tuesday, she will go before the school board and fight for her job. So are you fighting your, your termination? Yes, I am. Do you say, do you, did you not do what they're saying you did? I did not. School board members are expected to make a decision at that meeting tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Stacy. So, Melissa, did Kale and Kirk's family have anything to say about all this? Well, I spoke with them. They did not want to comment about this issue. They did tell me with Thanksgiving coming, it's really, really hard, as you can imagine. They did also say that they will maybe make a comment tomorrow after that meeting. All right. Melissa Marino, live in Polk County tonight. Thank you.